Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Scorpio for November 2009. And this also applies if you have a Scorpio ascendant. So you November Scorpios, happy birthday to you. I hope it's going to be a really, really good time for you. So let's look at what's happening. Very importantly, Saturn went into Libra, changed sign uh, at the end of October. And it's going to be mostly in Libra until October 5th, 2012, which means it's in your 12th house. So for many of you Scorpios, this is going to be quite an introspective time in many ways. You're going to need to go deeply into yourself to meditate, maybe to do yoga, but to do something that takes you inside of yourself, to learn how to breathe better, to calm yourself. Many of you do get yourselves really agitated. There's sometimes an obsessive element to you in your lives. And this is really with Saturn in this 12th house. You're going to find things unfolding from the past. Things that come out, some new understandings, some new insights to things that maybe you haven't understood before. But if you will give yourself this quiet time, on a regular basis for these next three years particularly. Once you get into the habit of it, you're gonna really enjoy it anyway. Many of you already do this, but for those of you that do it somewhat erratically, now's the time to get into a habit because you're gonna find that things are going to be revealed to you that are important for your next stage of growth because the next, after October 2012, this is when Saturn comes into your sign. So these next three years really be, need to be about you preparing for this event. This is about you preparing the groundwork, doing some behind the scenes work. You may feel as though think you're not getting noticed quite enough during this time period. Don't worry, this is a seed planting time. It's not a time to say, hey, where's the flowers? Okay, you're planting some very important seeds and you're gonna find that you're gonna be making some completions connected with things and people and memories from your past. This is going to be an important time for you Scorpios and it's an important time to take time out, to be quiet, to be away from people so that you get, can get in touch with this information that will be coming to you. Many of you will get a benefit from volunteering, for doing something for somebody else, and for getting in touch with that deep compassion that you feel because you're very emotional people, you Scorpios, and it's for getting in touch with that deep compassionate self that you have and finding a way in which you can make some kind of a contribution to somebody else's life. It needs only be in a very small way. Don't go for the big uh, gesture. Something quite small will really suffice because it will put you onto that road and that wavelength, that vibration that's going to be very valuable to you moving forward. So that's the bigger picture. Now moving on to this month. Well, the sun is in your first house along with Mercury and Venus for some of the month. So this is a focus on you. This is about you. What are you wanting for this year ahead? What are your dreams? What are your wishes? What are you gonna do for your physical body? while the Sun and Mercury are there. It's really time to think carefully, well, what does my physical body need? Am I giving it what it needs? And if not, what do I need to change? I know you Scorpios, you don't like letting go, but yes, there are gonna be some changes up for you, particularly over these next three years. A lot of change for you. But if you are able to go with it and not resist it too much, you will go to new depths and you love depths and you will be going to those depths. Then after about the 21st of the month for the Sun and about the middle of the month for Mercury, these two planets are going to be in your second house. So then after you've spent the time on yourself and really maybe got yourself into some new routines, new habits, and also maybe some kind of a new diet for yourself, are you getting enough protein? Are you getting the vitamins that you need as well so that you do have the brain power to continue? I do say this to some of you because I think some of you are not getting everything that you need and you may need to change your diet. So then you're going to get the focus on your work, on your earning your income. And it's a good time to maybe think about new ways of earning income and new ways in which you can communicate some marketing ideas, some way of marketing yourself differently and in a new way. 
Pluto in the third, many of you are going to go back to school and study and learn some new skills, or at least add to the skills that you already have. We've got Jupiter and Neptune in the fourth. There's going to be a lot going on in the home as well for you. Some growth and expansion, but also some dissolution, some things passing away, some things going, and you may feel a little isolated as though people can't quite reach you in some ways. You may well feel that for some of this month. Also, there's some new creativity coming through. Allow it to come through. Allow yourself just to be a little bit silly in some ways, not quite too serious. I know you are serious a lot of the time, but there's also got to be some space for a bit of fun as well this month. So there you have it. This is a preparation time before Saturn comes into your sign in October 2012. And happy birthday day to, to you for this month for your November, Scorpios. And there you have it. I wish you a wonderful month. For those of you that are interested in having a personal reading, I offer that. There's my website. It gives you some details of different readings I offer. And I thank you for listening. And I wish you a great month. Bye for now.